going to review one of the newer Vessel Power Vessel Power Core series is on the line. This is the more how can I explain it? The more higher end Vessel Power Core series. This is the Turbo Rewind. So why do they call it the Turbo Rewind? Because A it has a turbo fresh and B is rewind. So this is just like the 2191 series, you know. Um, same thing, just a different color. And this one is a rewind, and this one is a turbo brush. That's the only difference on it. But it's the same thing if you think about it. So yeah. So this bathroom, I picked it up from Goodwill for $5. They also had a 2191 U, I should have got it, but I could get more money off of this because, yeah. They also had a power lifter, a swivel, and a Dyson. I could do, I did get the Dyson, by the way. Do it in the next video. So, let's start off with the regular features. So, of course, this is a turbo model, so it's going to have the turbo brush, and the turbo models have to like the deluxe style hose. This is not the stretch hose like the regular 2191. This is like the more more structured hose. Pretty good, decent length of space, you know. And then, yeah. So one thing I like about these vacuums is these vacuums are easy to clean. All you gotta do is just slide this little chamber off right here. And then just push through the handle through it. Any old vessel will have the same style from the first Power Force magazines in 2004 to the now. This one has a Quick release empty dirt container and a filter on top of here. And then very easy to clean. Slide this off and empty it like that. And now on these models, there's the filter down here. This is the pulse motor filter. Then it started clean when I got it, so I'm not to worry about cleaning it. And the one thing I do not like about these whistles is they have the pre-motor filter inside of the motor, of the motor shell. So obviously you can't get this, but I already sort of sparks up motor and motor is practically good. Everything worked on it before, so it was good, but what you expect from the vacuum. So the attachments on this one includes a nice little extension wand, crevice tool. Now this is not like the more structured and more more high ground crevice. This is like the little small one, like the 1240 head. This one does not have the dusting brush, but I just go get the dusting brush on my shoulder and I can just do it. So this is a normal dusting brush that he'll have, but this will be bigger. And you got the turbo brush. Pretty slick style turbo brush. Honestly, whoever had this back in front needs to try some of this guy over here. Oh, yeah. Of course, like most pistols, you'll have five height adjustments from bare to floor, low carpet, low green, and you know, high. I keep it to low carpet. It does good on my legs. Yeah. The vacuum is very lightweight. Now one thing I like about this model is it has the brush on it so you can see. 
see if your brush hole is turning or not. I just brush holes are really in good shape, so. Yeah. And yeah, let me go get my 21 by the one and I'll go use some similarities in it. So this is the 2191 on the left. This is the 1797 on the right. And I do have the little cord hook, but it broke on the train and I know it's supposed to tape on, but it works anyway. I know the 2191 is kind of dirty, but it's probably used it a lot, so I could use it. But it's the same setup. Same. The only difference is technically that this logo on the brush on windows on this side, you know, there's a logo on the brush windows on the farther right side. And then, of course, this green one is the circle model and it'll do this regular model. And then nothing else to say, you know, this one has a stretch hose, this one has the low subs. So, it's more of a like stretch in there. This one is more flexier. But nothing else to say, I'll use them. Um, Of course, they're not the best, but the Helix Turbo Rewind is the more higher end model. And the 2191 just has a turbo brush on it for the wine feature. And in my opinion, it has a more flex hose on it. That's my opinion. And the 2191, everybody come across these vacuums. These are like very most common vacuums. This is kind of the Helix Turbos Rewind is kind of on the more common side. I mean, it's common, but you don't hardly ever find the Helix Turbo Rewind like you find the 2191 regular Helix. If only I had the 2191U, I reviewed that, but that's the same thing as 2191, which is purple. Yeah, nothing else to say about these, of course. Now the Helix Turbo is a couple of pounds probably more heavier than the Helix because got the rewind mechanism on it. Of course, the colors are different. The 2191 Powerful Helix is light blue. The Helix Turbo Rewind. It's like a lime green color. And then with silver accents, the gray accents. And yeah. So, let me show you how this one works. So, this is model number 1797, manufactured the 352nd day of 2009. So that would be December 12, 2019. No. December 18, 2019. I had to think about that before I said something. So this is late 2019. This is from 2017. This is manufactured the 259th day of 2017. I think that's between September, October. Yeah, nothing to say about these, of course. Now, like I was talking about, this is probably like $46, $48, dollars right here. This is like $20 more because it comes with a couple more features. Yeah. So that's the review of the this little Power Force Turbo Helix Turbo Rewind. I would not be reviewing it because I want to get back in the day. I don't know if you guys are not picking it up within an hour or so. That's just a review on it. Thanks for watching.